So what we do at UCL now is um, we uh, try to do this at a program level. Um, so we, there's our people from the video earlier on. We kind of bring them into a room like this and lock the door, and we do um, uh, we run them on the, the workshop on tables. Each table representing one of the modules in the program. We do this all together. It lasts. The original uh, module, uh, the original design was. Uh, for the workshop, it was 90 minutes. This takes a bit longer. It's about two hours. But we can get a whole program, folks, all together. And we spend extra time for the uh, program lead. It gives a bit of an introduction about the direction that we want to take this program in. And also, we have a bit of time at the end where we go around the various tables and share the designs for each of the modules. So you get this idea of um, the program as a whole experience for the students. And we can talk about things like progression, about through lines of activities and concepts through the whole programme. Um, we can talk about assessment and diversity, we can talk about the diversity of the student experience. And of course we can then talk about any strategic things that we want to address as well. In our case it's a connected curriculum, we can then look at those designs and say where does that appear within the experience of the, the, the um, and this simplicity is actually, I think, what uh, uh, means it's adaptable for uh, lots of different uh, institutions. Uh, we've got, within UCL, we've got, uh, um, uh, it's now part of our, it's part of our um, um, strategy. Um, we have to do this. And it's not quite at the stage where it's, um, it's, it's uh, mandated. It's not, you'll have to do it, but we now strongly recommend it. And a lot of that's through... Um, just word of mouth, some academics um, doing it and then saying to their colleagues, try this, and so on. And our argument is this makes their job easier and more interesting. For many academic colleagues, um, uh, doing uh, program design and module design is actually quite painful. They find it difficult. Uh, they often have to do it on their own, they have to do it at the last minute, and so on. This makes it much more collective and collaborative and interesting. It means they can share experience and so on. So they themselves like it and I think that's the important thing, it's not us imposing anything on them. Um, so here at UCL we've done about, uh, I don't know how many we've done, but about 900 uh, participants over the uh, two or three years we've been running this, 200 modules. Um, um, really we can hardly deal with the, um, the demand and also it's gone a little bit viral in the sense that uh, we used to, just myself and Natasha used to run it, but now everybody can run it and it's become difficult to track what people are doing. So in a university like ours, that's quite, quite an important step. Uh, we also involve students a lot. Important for us as well, and I'm sure you guys, um, how do you involve students in this process? We brought them in either to design programs or to work with the colleagues, um, uh, the academics, to design programs or to review programs. Uh, we use it for short courses, so any of our CPD courses, we now, all of them now do the ABC as part of their um, design process. We have uh, MOOCs, I'm guessing, you got MOOCs? You guys are running MOOCs? I guess some of you are, some aren't. Uh, we use um, ABC for MOOCs as well. We've got a special set of cards for uh, uh, ABCs. Uh, FutureLearn have adapted um, slightly our method and they also use it as their recommended design method. FutureLearn being the big UK design programme. In the UK, we've run it up and down the country. We've been to Glasgow, Canterbury, Reading, Lincoln, Nottingham, and many other places. Oxford, obviously, some of the people in the room have been around here as well. And again, it just kind of seems to work. What we do is we take over to, their, um, to their, them, uh, we take what's called the classic version, and we show them how it works. We do train the trainers, and then we hand it over, and off they go. Yeah? And sometimes they tell us what they've been doing afterwards, and sometimes they don't, but generally speaking, the feedback's quite good. People can also do stuff on their own as well. I'll show you what they can do. We go to various things in the UK, um, various um, um, events, and show people how it works. And yeah, it's all good. Um, so the way we use it in UCL is obviously about learning design. It's ABC Learning Design. Uh, we also use it for strategic, strategic development. It's part of um, how we push the connected curriculum, uh, but other things like assessment. Um, 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 uh, that kind of educational um, change, we can use at ABC for that. We kind of think of it as a bit like a Swiss Army knife. It's a simple tool, but you can use it for lots of different things. Um, academic development, and this is something which has come up a little bit while we've been thinking about this project, is as a way to help 
um, our, our academic colleagues, our teachers, to improve their skills and think about this. So um, there's an additional benefit we can get from this. And we do this. It's now part of our academic development programs. And, and, um, um, and I think part of the, uh, this particular project will, will address that. There are other things we can do as well. We could use it for quality assurance. Um, you know, are we, can we document this as a way that we can uh, um, share uh, designs uh, across the university? Could we use it alongside learning analytics, a very kind of trendy thing? Uh, we've done some workshops around that where you use design to identify data that you could use to, uh, to see how the students are doing inside while the program is running, while the module is running. Or to use it to do post-workshop and uh, post-module um, analysis, if that makes sense. Yeah? Really interesting. Not part of the project here, but kind of interesting. And also, it's also been used, and again, some of the people in the room are, are perhaps thinking of that, is to think about how we can link this to the technical support environment we have. How do we link it to the VLE? What gaps are there? What we can do? Is there something that the academics want to do that we can't provide? How do we bridge that gap? So there's a number of things we can use it for. The ones at the top three are really the ones of the project. Uh, the others we'll might think about as we go forward. So, the, um, so we've, had, we've more or less run this up, folks, as um, um, an unfunded project inside UCL. We've just done it as part of our main business. We got some uh, funding last year or 2016 actually, uh, to evaluate it and to develop some uh, toolkits. That was called the ACE project, and that was really interesting because that, that kind of gave us the idea for this project here. Um, we had the, we took some of the, it's similar, it's a sort of like a mini version of ABC to VLE, sort of. Uh, we did an, an online pack, uh, we did some evaluation of it. And what was kind of interesting was this. Um, people really liked it. It's uh, something that's very engaging for the academics. They like doing it. We like doing it. We enjoy doing it. We enjoy that kind of interaction with our colleagues. We're talking about pedagogical stuff. We're talking about technical stuff. It's good stuff to talk about. You know, we like that. And whenever we give uh, feedback from it, it's always a bit like this. Um, you know, good fun, makes you think about stuff. I like that kind of thing, right? We like that. But what the evaluation of this um, did um, last year was, was to say that even though you've got a design, that doesn't mean to say that's going to get into your VLE. This is your problem area. And that once, even if people get really, really excited, as they do, they then have to go back to their desks and do their kind of normal life. And then that pleasure and interest in doing that can become a little bit lost. So this is what brings us to this project. And the idea was to think just simply about this. If we've got a design here that we've done as a part of our ABC, how do we get that into our learning environment? How do we get into Moodle? That's our one, how Blackboard, Canvas, Fronter, Edictatium. Who's that? Is that you guys? Who's Edictatium? That's you guys, yes. I knew there was a, I knew there were troublemakers in the corner. Yeah, they're down there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. It's about whatever VLE you're using. Um, so really what we want to do as part of the project is to really think about that. So we, we've got this as a kind of pedagogical design. How do we turn this into a technical design? And that's where we've come to today. That's where we've come to. So um, this is our project. We started last month and it runs for 24 months. That's all you guys there. Um, most of you had some experience of ABC. Some of you haven't. Um, we're going to be working with you over the next uh, few months to make sure everybody has at, at the same point. And um, that's what we'll be talking about today.